very difficult horse. And I just had my hands on this horse very quietly, and somebody said, Linda, what are you doing? And I said, I'm releasing fear at the cellular level. And I have to tell you all, when I said that, I wanted to stick a cork in my mouth because nobody talked about cells in those years. It was before AIDS. I mean, we have become so aware, so much more aware of cell function because of AIDS. But, um, so it really scared me that I said this. It was a, just an intuitive thing. And what the way all this work has come through, somebody, I just, you know, listen. It's a God-given gift that I feel I give on. And so I, when she asked me that, and I opened my mouth and said it's releasing fear at the cellular level, for me, this is just divine information that comes through that we can all listen to. It's not special for me if anybody can listen in this way. And so that, uh, that evening, I went home and I said, oh dear, you know, my reputation's going to be ruined. Nobody's going to believe me because you just don't say things like that. So I called a friend of mine who was the first, she was an, um, a veterinarian, Dr. Alice DeGroot. She was the first woman acupuncturist for horses in the United States. And she knew me very well and knew this work. And I said, do you think it's possible for cells to hold fear? And she said, Linda, it's only in the Western world this is not known. It's common knowledge in the Eastern world of Chinese medicine. And that really quieted me a bit. But you know, 15 years later, Dr. Candace Pert at the National Institute of Health did a big research project that actually her boss won a Nobel Prize nomination for her work. And she proved, she, she writes about it in a book called Molecules of Emotion, just proving that actually our cells hold the memory of trauma when it's traumatic, when an injury is traumatic. And it's through chemical connections. We just think it's in it. We, we feel it in our brain. But we need to release it. From my experience, we need to actually go to the body and release it. And I, I'll give you a really interesting example.